I'm Sarah Cross. I am a research associate and I manage about 100 beehives. Um, and today I wanted to show you how to go through a beehive if you've just bought one. Now we would recommend that you do this before you buy them, but we weren't uh, able to do that for this lot. So I would like to open this hive and show you what should be in there in terms of honey and food, and also having a good laying queen and good brood, so you know that your beehive's gonna survive for the season. Okay, so because we've never opened this hive before, I don't know what these bees are going to be like. I don't know if they're gonna be calm and nice, or I don't know if they're gonna come out and get me. So we're gonna put on our full bee suit gear. All right, so we've got our full suit, and we're gonna put our veil on. We're gonna put full gloves on. This is all to protect us, in case the bees are not as happy as we'd like them to be. All right. So we're all protected, we've got our smoker and we've got our hive tool, so we're ready to go. So we've always got to remember, always smoke the front of the hive first to calm the bees down and let them know that you're coming in. All right, so this is just oh, to keep the hive secured and together. Take our hive lid off, take our hive mat off, this is what's called an internal feeder. This is where we put liquid sugar, sugar syrup. All right. So now we're just gonna crack open our hive and see what we've got. All right. That's looking good. This is just wax, so that's all good. These are our lovely bees coming up to see us. I'm gonna give them a little smoke, calm them down a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna check each frame using my hive tool. That's just a nice frame of new wax with our workers on there. I'm just gonna pop that down. Awesome, this is a lovely frame of capped honey. So this under here is actually capped honey. So they've done all the work to store that in there. That's excellent, so I know that this hive has some food so that's brilliant. We're going to go into the bottom box and see if we can find the queen down there. All right, so this is what we call our brood box because we know this is where the queen and the brood is. So we're going to start with an outside frame because we don't want to squash the queen who is probably in the middle. It's just a nice empty frame with wax on. Oopsie daisies. All right, we're just going to move these outside frames are just nicely filled with honey, which is brilliant. Like I say, this is a, a lovely honey producing hive. We're gonna continuously smoke them to calm them down. And hopefully once we get to the middle, we can see some brood. Up here, this is what we call capped brood. So you see these cells have a little layer on the top. Underneath there is a pupa. Here is our queen. Can you see her racing around there? See how she's larger? Can you see the difference there? She's running from me because she knows we're looking at her. She's the one and only queen in this hive. There's only ever one. She's the one that lays the eggs and produces all of these female workers. All right, so here's another frame with some bruge. I'm gonna shake the bees off so we can see them a bit better. So what we do to shake them off, we've got a gap here. What are we gonna do? Little shake. Not too much of a drama. There we go. So this is the capped brood that I was talking about. So remember underneath here, a queen has laid an egg and then the egg has hatched into a larva. The larva has been fed and now it's pupating into an adult bee. So if you're going through a hive and you can't actually find the queen, because sometimes she's very hard to find, another way to guarantee that the hive still has a queen is to shake the bees off a brood frame and check inside the cells to see if you can see eggs. So we're just gonna put this hive back together. I'm really happy with this hive. We have a queen and we saw that she's laying and she's got brood. We've got lots and lots of food. We've got lots of bees as you can see. So I'm really happy with this hive. So I'm just gonna put it back together. Now remember when you put a hive back together, always put the frames in the exact same place that you got them from. Okay, so that's our brood box. We're gonna smoke our bees down a little bit. Get back down there, ladies. And we're gonna put our honey box back on the top. Now remember, there is a space between these two boxes, so don't fret too much about the ladies in there. 
putting it back exactly where we got it, nice and flush. Put our lid back on. Done. One fantastic two box hive. Awesome.